Well, welcome, folks. If you're looking for how to precisely adjust ADHD medications, you've come to the right place. That's exactly what this uh, brief video is about. We've covered in other videos, if you look through uh, my channel, Dr. Charles Parker, at YouTube, you'll see several different videos, one on duration of effectiveness, which is, is going to be somewhat parallel to it, the top of the window and how difficult it is to get with some of the new medications like Vyvanse. We talked briefly about the bottom of the window because all these real videos are really too short to do them complete justice, but to give you an idea, what we're really trying to do is say every single stimulant medication or any medication that's used by anybody on, for mental health purposes should really be dialed in precisely for a therapeutic window. It should not come out the top, which would be too much. It should be sufficiently in the bottom to have a positive effect. And then the stimulant medications specifically need to last a precise period of time. We call it the half-life over on our side of the, of the room. And the half-life is really how long it should last effectively clinically. Now, it's surprising that I'm actually telling you this. To me, it's amazing that people don't know the details of this today and that I have a forum to talk about this because it's, it's absolutely essential. It's like 100% essential to know what I'm talking about. This isn't something you just cast off and throw away. This is pay attention, forward it to your doc, forward it to your therapist. Here's the deal. And this particular video is a big one. We talked about the top of the window. The top of the window, what happens there is that you're toxic. You have to know about that. That's another, that's another video. The bottom of the window, it's not working. Getting a sufficient dose is very, very important. So many people are so worried about stimulant medications going out the top, they don't adequately ask the questions about effectiveness. When does it start working and when does it quit? So what are we talking about? The sides of the window. The sides of the window will tell you whether the medication is effectively adjusted. Now, of course, it's medicine. What I'm telling you right now is not 100% applicable, but it's going to be close. If you do it regularly, you're going to get it right. So here's the situation. I don't want to know in the morning when you took it. I want to know what time in the morning you took it. If you're a kid and you're not wearing a watch, I still want you to know what time you took it. So if you took it at 7 o'clock, that's very key. If you took it at 9 o'clock, that's different than 7 o'clock. And the, since they have a very specific duration of effectiveness, we want to be precise about it. So if you took it at 7, the time from 7 to 12 is 5 hours. I have done this math before. It's really complicated. And then we want to look at the duration of effectiveness in the afternoon. And if we simply do the math in the afternoon, we have the total duration of effectiveness for the day. And all we have to do is add it together. So if they take it at 7, it's out at 3, it's out, it's 8 hours. Now, if we know the half-life on these medications and you are giving the person a 12-hour half-life medication like Vyvanse, eight hours is insufficient. The dose is too small. It needs to be increased so that it will actually come around to last for, for 12 hours. The same thing as Ritalin. If you give Ritalin, immediate release Ritalin, and, and it's supposed to last for four hours is the immediate release, but you give it and it really only lasts two, what are you going to do? You're going to increase it. So... The bottom line here, just to close with this, is to really help you understand that if you're really precise, if we as a medical team, all of us, are much more medically precise about the duration of effectiveness, the sides of the window, here's when you take it, here's when it quits working, then you'll know whether it's working effectively or whether it's working ineffectively. Now, by the way, if it works too short on what you would expect it to be, it's ineffective. If it works too long on the sides of the window, you're very likely going to be out the top of the window as well because you actually uh, have a, a, an excess and it's going to be a toxic, toxic kind of a side effect. So those are the sides of the window. We've hit the top and the bottom. Really, let's di dial the medications in precisely. And if we do that, we're going to be much more um, effective in our dosing of medications. Thanks for your attention. See you again soon.